Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jill. And today's question and file sent in by Jeffrey. Jeffrey has this uh, file and he wants to uh, sort it descending. So he clicks the Z to A button up here. And you see that the uh, first row is being treated as a heading. So Abilene always stays at the top, uh, then followed by Zanesville. And so uh, you know, Jeffrey's like, what's up with this? Although he admitted uh, right there that uh, the row right above that data, row six, is a tiny little row that he uh, used to make things look good. Well, that tiny little row is generally causing the problem. But there is an easy workaround. Rather than use A to Z or Z to A, let's just go in to the sort dialog and uncheck the box for my data has headers. And now you can say that we're going to sort by column A and sort Z to A and click OK and it successfully sorts that data to the bottom. So if your data is set up correctly with one header row and then no blanks and all of the data in a nice contiguous block, you can sort with a single click using the A to Z or Z to A buttons. But if you have something special like Jeffrey does, the, the blank row for to make it look good aesthetically, then you have to go into the sort dialog and uh, say that your data does not have headers. Still possible to sort though. All right, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.